Good afternoon and welcome to some thoughts from the Word. Today we're going to begin our continue looking in the book of Amos chapter 1. We'll be in verses 11 and 12. Turn with me there if you will. Hear now the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because he pursued his brother with the sword, and cast off all pity, and his anger tore perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. So I will send fire upon Taman, and it shall devour the strongholds of Basra. God is now addressing Edom, the sworn enemy of Israel, addressing their sin against their own brothers. Remember, Edom are the, are, the Edomites are those from Esau, uh, who were Jacob's brothers, Israel's brothers. Uh, they were relations, and yet they mistreated Israel. They uh, tried to kill him with the sword. They had no pity on them. They were constantly angry against them. Here we see uh, the Lord speaking to them and, and casting uh, and, and uh, prophesying, a, uh, Amos prophesying the Lord's punishment that's going to come to them. And it caused me to think about and wonder about in our world today, how are we treating those people around us that are different than us? Those who we see in Scripture, as I talked about a week or two ago, uh, are created in the image of God, who are brothers uh, born of one blood just as we are. Are we pursuing them? Are we oppressing them? Are we casting them off? Are we constantly angry? How are we treating them? Or are we loving them as we love ourselves? Here, the Lord is condemning Edom for not loving their brother, for not caring for their brother, for mistreating their brother. And it is naive of us to think that we ourselves would not at all be punished if we don't do the same. We need to care for all those around us, to love all those around us, love them as we love ourselves. For remember, the second greatest commandment after the first, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength, is to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. How are we loving our neighbor today? I pray that you would consider that and apply that today. Show your neighbor some love and, be, and glorify God. Let's read from the Valley of Vision, uh, entitled A Christian's Prayer. Blessed God, ten thousand snares are mine without and within. Defend thou me. When sloth and indolence seize me, give me views of heaven. When sinners entice me, give me disrelish of their ways. When sensual pleasures tempt me, purify and refine me. When I desire worldly possessions, help me to be rich toward thee. When the vanities of the world ensnare me, let me not plunge into new guilt and ruin. May I remember the dignity of my spiritual release, never to be too busy to attend to my soul, never to be so engrossed with time that I neglect the things of eternity. Thus may I not only live, but grow towards thee. Form my mind to write notions of religion, that I may not judge of grace by wrong conceptions nor measure my spiritual advances by the efforts of my natural being. May I seek after an increase of divine love to thee, after unreserved resignation to thy will, after extensive benevolence to my fellow creatures, after patience and fortitude of soul, after a heavenly disposition, after a concern that I may please thee in public and private. Draw on my soul the lineaments of Christ, and every trace and feature of which thou wilt. Take delight, for I am, thy workmanship created in Christ Jesus, thy letter written with the Holy Spirit's pen, thy tilled soil ready for the sowing and harvest. Amen. Amen. Let's uh, go before the Lord in prayer today. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy to us. May we extend that grace and mercy to all around us, to our literal physical neighbors in the houses next door, behind and in front of us, but also to our neighbors we see in the marketplace, on the streets, in our schools, in our churches, in our workplaces, wherever they may be. I pray, O oh God, that we would love our neighbors as we love ourselves and that we would not be as the Edomites, 
oppressing, tearing down, uh, and, and, and uh, killing those who are, who are different than us, who are not part of our brotherhood. And Father, I pray that you would just give us strength. We pray for Eastminster as we begin the process of uh, opening up and returning to corporate worship. I pray, O oh God, that you would open doors for us, that you would provide all the resources we need, and Lord, that you would be glorified in us. I pray that you would keep all uh, of our folks strong and healthy, and that we would be able to join back together uh, quickly uh, in worship, in study, and in ministry. Father, open doors uh, into the community around us. Show us how we can be a light of the gospel into the darkness of this world. Father, use us for the glory of your kingdom, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. I thank you uh, again for watching and being with us. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we deal with some thoughts from the Word. God bless you, and bye-bye.